Santa here and today I have a bit of a life update to kind of share with you guys. I'm sure anyone who follows my channel regularly knows that the videos have been inconsistent as where I used to post every single day. Sometimes I will for like a few days stretch, sometimes there won't be a video for a week. And I've had a lot going on. So I guess the meat and potatoes of what's been going on is the past few months, but as far as like moving, because that's what's going on, me and Austin have kind of been talking about getting a house for like over a year now. And we discussed it, I guess, June of last year, May or June of last year, when we had to let our leasing office at our apartment complex know whether we'd be renewing our lease or not. And we decided we weren't ready quite at that point. But we have kind of talked about it on and off since. I don't know if we would have necessarily started looking for a home had the events that had occurred not happened. I don't know if we would have just stayed in the apartment another year or looked for another apartment. But So that's the background when buying a home. Sorry if you can hear background noise. My parents are like watching the Billboard Music Awards downstairs because we are in their house, and I'll get to that. So, basically, the story starts sometime in winter. There was some tenant turnover. We got new, new tenants in the apartment below us, and we kind of knew something was a little off, but we they never, like, really bothered us, so... Sorry, I have, like, the sniffles. So we never bothered to say anything to the leasing office. The apartment below us is identical to the one that we have, so contractually there are only supposed to be four people, like four humans, regardless of age, size, whatever, living in that apartment. So we knew there was more than four people in there, and the only time they ever really bothered us is sometimes you could hear the kids running because they were loud. I guess they'd try to tire them out before bedtime. You could hear them running around like seven, eight o'clock running around the apartment, but it was never like super distracting, never anything worth concern. But then a couple months go by and Austin was in the kitchen cooking dinner, I specifically remember, and I went into the kitchen, I was going to tell him something, or I don't even know what, was, what I was going in the kitchen for, but there was a roach just crawling across, diagonally across the kitchen, and he looked like he was on his last leg. He looked like life was not going to be around much longer for him. He looked like he was definitely dying. Because he was, I don't know if any of you are familiar with roaches. I wasn't super familiar with roaches, but I mean, I'd seen them before. We've never had roaches, which, in hindsight, it's almost a miracle. My parents, that's where I'm at now, live in the city between two vacant houses right down the street from a major restaurant block. So the fact that we've never had roaches I think says a lot that it's not hard to keep roaches out of your house because their home is like the perfect situation to get roaches and we've never had roaches here. So like I knew something was wrong with it because it wasn't acting like walking all fast and shit like a roach usually does and trying to run from you, so that roach was definitely dying. And I didn't know at the time that the apartment complex does have a schedule in which the company they contract with, the pest control company they contract with, comes. It's every Wednesday. I don't even remember if it was Wednesday. I wish I would have wrote down, like, everything that happened. But basically... Austin talked to his mom. She sort of talked me off the ledge. I was really freaking out because I know for a fact where there's one roach, there's more roaches. So I was freaking out. She's like, oh, well, it could be anything. It could have come from a grocery bag. One could have just snuck into a grocery bag. Like, you never know. It could have come from anywhere. So we really didn't think too much about it. Really didn't bother with it at all. Thought, okay, this is a one-off fluke. It probably came in from a grocery bag we brought in or something. Who knows? So, we didn't really do or say much about it. We didn't call the office. We kind of took it to be a non-incident. Then, I remember 
The moment I was really freaked out and got significantly worried that there was a problem was, I think, maybe a week or two later. I was cooking dinner in the kitchen, and the way our kitchen was set up in the apartment was that there was a wall, there was the stove, and then there was the countertop. Below that countertop was the dishwasher, then there's the sink, the under sink area, and then some other stuff on the other side. So I think I was making pasta and like a veggie olive oil sauce, so I had the water boiling on the back right burner, and I had the veggie sautéing on the one in front of me, and between the wall and the stove, out comes a roach, and just crawls right onto the stove. And at that point I screamed for Austin. I kept an eye on the roach, I didn't want to freak out the roach. So he, so I called Austin and I wanted him to see what was happening. And he got it and killed it. And I'm like, this is not fucking okay. There's no reason we should have seen two at this point. Makes no sense. No sense. So, I called the apartment complex, they put us on the list to be treated. That next Wednesday, we were treated, it seemed like everything was fine. And then, I don't even know how long it was before we saw the next one, but at some point we saw another one. And it was always only one at a time. We'd never see multiples. So I kept calling the office and asking to be treated, and it got to the point where, one, I didn't believe someone was coming in our apartment and treating us. It didn't seem like there was any sign of anything being touched or moved. The cabinets were exactly in the position we left them, whether it was open or closed, they'd always be in the same position. So I called the office and I'm like, this is an issue. You guys need to come treat everyone in this building. And so they had to send out a notice saying that everyone in the building was being treated and so it had to wait a week so they could give 24 hours for the notice. And so supposedly everyone in the building was treated. Were they really? I don't know. I can't stay home from work to babysit the pest control man. So after that it was like maybe a week and we found more. We started keeping sticky traps by the stove, which seemed to be where they were coming from. And I asked the, the people in the office, I'm like, can you send the maintenance man to pull the stove out? So after the stove was pulled out, we found out there was a big gap in the wall behind the stove where all the wiring and shit was. And I was like, okay, well this is clearly where they're coming from. I think it's quite obvious they're coming from the neighbors below, because that's how we're linked through this wall and they're coming through this gap. So, they did come and fill all the gaps behind the stove with this weird hardening foam stuff. And so, all we kept seeing were little teeny tiny ones, which is obviously an issue because little teeny tiny ones can get anywhere. At some point we absolutely just couldn't take it anymore. Our kitchen was not functional whatsoever for weeks, maybe even over a month. We packed up everything in the kitchen, had it in a different room. We couldn't use the kitchen, I decided. And we removed the front face off of the dishwasher because I'd seen one go in the little vent thing and I wasn't playing with that. I didn't want anything on that dishwasher so we could see if there was a bug there which we later learned they're German cockroaches and that they really like moist, wet environments which is why they were apparently being drawn to the dishwasher and they were definitely coming from behind the stove because after that was sealed off we only saw little ones, like teeny babies and that means that only babies were getting through the tiny little cracks that were behind the stove where maybe the foam didn't fill in as much so, after me calling and basically cussing out everyone in that office and telling them they all sucked at their jobs, <laughs> because this went on for like a few months where we'd call, we'd say, hey, treat, 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 this needs to be happening. Why is this not happening more frequently? Why is this only happening once a week? Someone needs to be in here. I, it's my personal opinion that you put everyone in that building in a hotel and bomb the entire building.
That's my personal opinion. But I have a very strong opinion against roaches. I feel like once roaches are around, you need to be incredibly diligent or they're going to get in all of your stuff. And the best, the best solution is to move. That's my personal opinion on roaches. Maybe you have a different opinion. My opinion is I don't want to see a single one of them. One is too many. So, eventually they did say, okay, we're going to go into every apartment again, treat every apartment, and one of us from the office staff is going to go in every apartment, and we're going to look around and find the problem. And so after that, they did message us and say, okay, we found the problem. We found the, the problem apartment. We're going to specially treat them, and we'll actually treat your apartment again so they don't come in there. And even after that, we saw one off here one off bug there. We had sticky traps basically lying in the kitchen. We weren't using the kitchen anyway, so we had sticky traps basically lining the entire kitchen. And any, like, spiders we saw in the apartment, because, you know, you get spiders anywhere, we'd try and guide them towards, like, the dining room, so if anything tried to escape, they'd sort of eat it. And we basically didn't have a functional kitchen forever. We've been eating out. I feel like I've gained five pounds, which is disgusting. But, well, it's not disgusting. It's just uncomfortable because my clothes aren't fitting very well. Just because we've been eating out, like, the past several weeks, almost a month now. So, we got them. What? I remember it was a... Was it a Saturday or a Sunday? It was either a Saturday or a Sunday. And we had found like a pregnant one, I think, on our sticky trap. Or well, we found a pregnant one somewhere that yeah, was on the sticky trap. And at that point I was like, no. These bugs are coming from this other group of people's apartment and are trying to colony colonize colonize. That's sorry, I'm like having a brain fart. It's been a busy weekend. They were trying to colonize our apartment now, and I'm like, no, this is not happening. Granted, Austin and I are incredibly diligent and very clean, so we were very on top of everything, but I'm like, this is not happening. They actually, at the office, stopped answering phone calls for my phone number, and we found that out kind of funny. I called, went straight to voicemail, left a nasty voicemail, and then Austin called right after I hung up and someone answered immediately answer immediately. They had not been answering my phone calls for a while and I thought, okay, they're just busy. It's a big apartment complex now. They answered Austin's phone call immediately. So they stopped answering my phone calls because I, well, I will say I was talking to them like shit, but at that point I was pissed. I felt no one was taking us seriously. I literally had to call corporate just to get answers from them half the time because they stopped answering my phone calls. And I just felt like they didn't care. It wasn't their stuff that would potentially get ruined by these bugs, and I, I lost all respect for them because they weren't treating us with very much respect. I feel like your home, the things you have, your living space, while we shouldn't put a ton of value in possessions, it's not cheap to replace these basic things that we all have in our homes. So I was getting really pissed off that they were literally going to cost me a ton of money, not to mention they had cost us a lot of money to begin with because we were having to eat out all the time, which was a pain in the butt. I hate eating out all the time. I love cooking. I want to cook. I want to bake. I want to be domestic. That is like my thing. I love it. So I was getting really, really like annoyed at that point. And they agreed. Once Austin got a hold and talked to someone, he's like, okay, I think I can get you out of your lease. Let me call you back on Tuesday. I'm going to talk to our corporate people. I'm going to see what we can do. So... On that Tuesday, the guide got back to us and he said, okay, I think I can get you out of your lease with 30 days notice. And at that point, it was May 10th and we would have been able to get out June 10th, officially. Well, the following week, which is this past Wednesday, Austin stayed home from work. We had told them we want to be on the treatment list again. We want someone to come again, treat everything. And Austin said, I want to talk to the pest control guy. I want to talk to him to see if there's anything we should be concerned about. Is there a special way we should treat our furniture? Is there something we should look for that we need to pay attention to while packing up all this stuff and moving? Austin stayed home from work Wednesday. He was at home literally all day long. No one showed up. I called the office. Nothing. You know my number went straight to voicemail. He called the office, voicemail. His dad called the office, voicemail. No one was answering the phone in the office. 
So Austin actually called the corporate contact we have. She called the office. Someone in the office finally called him back and said, Actually, your name was on the list. He went to your apartment. Well, hell no, he didn't, because Austin's been home all day. And unless that homie was a ghost, he was not in the apartment. So Austin's dad went buck wild. He knows all these crazy important people. I don't even know half the people he knows. He, like, threatened to sue, and he just was, I don't know what he was doing, but they got afraid of him, because not only did they tell us, okay, you're out of your lease the day you move out, that's the day you're done paying. It's fine, just turn in the keys, and you will not have to pay. We also went to pick up the letter at the office that stated all this, and there was a $50 gift card for us. I'm like, I don't know what Austin's dad did or said. But they took him damn seriously. So, since we could get out whenever and be done paying whenever, I'm like, let's get out immediately. And actually, we were in the process of getting out all of our stuff. We had slowly started packing everything. We were moving everything. Like, small item packing stuff to my mom's house. Because since me and my brother had moved out, she had two extra rooms. She had a whole room we could just put boxes in. So a lot of our stuff is now in my mom's. We're staying at my mom's. This is a room in my mom's house. And then we got, so we moved a lot of stuff last weekend. We moved more stuff, I think, Tuesday or Wednesday this week. I don't know. My planner's not in front of me, and I've lost my mind. It's been, like, one blurry long day of a week. It's just insane. And then yesterday, Saturday, we moved a ton of stuff. Basically, anything else that needed to be packed in a box, like something small, has been moved out of that apartment as of yesterday. And then today, we had a few of our friends come over and we've rented a U-Haul. Everything is now in a storage unit. So that's where that is as far as getting out of the apartment. So that is everything for like the apartment side of the story. We are tomorrow, Monday, officially done with the apartment. We do our, like, our final walk through with one of the leasing office people and hand over the keys and we are done completely done with CRC Realty, and in case any of you live in this area, we're completely done with the Padonia Village Apartments. It's a great apartment complex to live with until you have an issue that involves pests. I have, maintenance is great. Usually I have no trouble getting in touch with someone in the office, but if there's a pest issue that needs to be handled in an immediate fashion, it's, it's not a great place to live. Which, honestly, that's one of the, aside from, like, flooding, that's probably one of the most important issues that you want handled quickly. So, I used to love that place. Now, I can't recommend it. They're very spacious, comfortable apartments, but I'd rather live somewhere where I'm in control, where I know the people who are in control are going to respect the urgency of the matter. Because, in my opinion, one bug is too many bugs to see. Bomb the whole building. Bomb the whole building. And if I, if someone else in the building has brought in bugs, that is your responsibility as the leasing company to handle that and immediately. It's your fault they live there. You allowed them to come into the building. No one else should have to deal with that issue. That's my opinion. So, that's everything to do with the apartment. Home buying. So, at some point... After me and Austin had looked at a bunch of apartments, I kind of got to the point where I'm like, I don't want to live anywhere where I'm not in control anymore. And I also don't want to live attached to another person anymore. Not at all. I don't want to live with other homeowners or tenants whatsoever. So, we started to look at homes. My brother bought a home last year, and we texted his agent, he hooked us up with another agent at the, um, the realtor's office, and Austin had a finance guy he had talked to previously, like years ago, when him and his brother were thinking about getting a place together, this was before we even started dating, like, a really long time ago, so, we got in touch with that guy, we really dug his vibe, he was a great lender, he explained so much stuff, so we talked to him, we got approved for a certain amount, where you're not spending that certain amount, that was a big amount. Like, they approve you for way more than, like, I can't imagine anyone handling, like, given income. I, that's a whole different story. 
But we decided an amount we were comfortable with and we started looking for houses. We probably started looking a week or two ago. We've looked at 10 in total. I've looked at a ton online. I've probably looked at over 100 if you count the internet. But we probably looked at 10 in total, definitely. We liked one, we kept looking. There was another we kind of liked, and then we found like the one. So as of yesterday, we put in a um, offer, and we haven't heard anything back yet. But I'm looking forward to it. It's kind of small, but we're just two people. And it's got a great yard. He wants a dog, so that's where we stand. This is my life update. Because literally, we finished moving shit out today. I'm now in my mom's house, in the bedroom we're staying in. And we're waiting to hear back from the realtor with what they say to our offer. So, that is where my life stands. That's where I've been. A lot of the time, when I'm just filming inconsistently, it's because I get really upset and we have to get out of the apartment so that I don't freak out and, like, have a panic attack or something. Because I just... I work really hard. I don't have a lot of stuff. And the stuff I do have, I work hard for. Like... I don't want things getting in my sticker collection and ruining that, especially when that supplies my hobby, which is this, YouTube, and I don't want things to ruin stuff I love and things I love to do, so that's where I've been just incredibly emotional, a giant mess, a giant wreck, and life's been kind of crazy, but luckily we have a, lot, a really good support system, we have a lot of friends that were able to help, and it's getting really loud in the rest of the house. I think Austin just got home. So I'm going to go for now. And I'm going to put this on my normal channel. But while we're living here, I know I at least want to do a Meet the Cats video. My mom has like six cats. So I thought it might be fun to do a little filming of each of them. So that might go on this channel. Might go on the vlog channel. But other than that, I don't know how many planner videos I'll be able to get up don't know, but I'll try to do some vlogs over on the vlog channel, check that out, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye!